common sight upon worlds that are dominated by orcoids, the herd squig is a small yet incredibly vicious creature. Like other squigs, herd squigs, despite their animalistic appearance, are a type of fungal organism. In appearance, the herd squig is reminiscent of a large hexapodal rodent, which grows to around the size of a domestic cat, sporting thick fur, a long naked tail, and a massive set of jaws with almost disproportionately large teeth. These teeth are capable of inflicting devastating wounds by tearing large chunks of flesh from their victim. As a fungal organism, it's highly likely that the fur covering the creature's body is not comprised of hair, but instead, mycelia. The multiple sets of limbs sported by the herd squig allow the creature to move with startling speed, allowing it to chase down most types of prey, such as other squigs, Gretchen, or any humans that had been taken prisoner by the orcs. Herd squigs also boast incredible stamina, and are capable of running at high speeds without tiring for several minutes at a time. Herd squigs also sport long, trunk-like noses, gifting the creature with an incredible sense of smell. The creatures also boast exceptionally keen hearing, allowing them to detect the faintest of noises from several meters away. They are also extremely cunning and surprisingly intelligent, capable of being trained to respond to various verbal commands and whistles, much like a domestic dog, and have even been known to bark in a similar manner. This combination of traits makes herd squigs a highly prized commodity for the orc odd boys known as runt herds, who will utilize these organisms for the purposes of tracking and shepherding. Herd squigs are also surprisingly loyal creatures, should one of these creatures be raised by a particular runt herd, then they will often refuse to obey any commands issued by another. Whenever a herd squig is set loose to track down any potential escapees from their master's slave pens, the creature is able to swiftly hunt them down. They will then either pin their target beneath their own weight, should such quarry be small enough, or simply continuously circle them whilst barking and making faux lunges at them, in order to intimidate them into remaining still, allowing their masters the time needed for them to arrive and recapture their charges. <laughs>